He's got a kick. He's got a kick. Can you believe it? Marco Fu. Can you believe it? You know, I was just thinking when he held his head. The shot that John was talking about. If he doubles that red up the table, that's the path the white would take. But the red would go dangerously close to the yellow, so it was an option and not a bad one. Yeah, it's just looking at it now. He's hit it a little bit too hard now. Well, Marco, well, he can get to the red that he doubled back up. He just didn't catch it correctly. So a bit of a chance. And I think the white's heading towards the black and red here. Played it with stun because it was a natural to cannon into the red and black, which he didn't want to do. And if it pulls up here, this is a chance for Marco Fu. You know what, Dennis? That was a much, much better shot than it looked. He had to get into that cue ball, but not too much. And he played that really well. So, after that safety exchange that he managed to win, first chance goes to Marco Fu. And what he was looking at in a couple of shots time was to get on a red into the right Five. corner and leave himself on the pink because the black's out of commission. And I think the pink spot might be occupied. So in a few shots time, he might be able to get the pink onto Six. the black spot. But there's plenty of other options before he has to think about that. That red that's Eleven. up to the right hand side of the pink. That's the most important ball in this break. If he can get on that in a couple of shots time onto the pink. Wow, what a chance. Twelve. I'll do it now. Ideally he'd like to be straight on that red. He's just back looking at the pink again, because if he leaves the white where the red is, it would be perfect. Oh, he's got a little bit too much side on that. He's not on it nicely. Just 16. a little bit of adrenaline there. He just over cook that slightly yeah he was just he was just worried about not cannon in the yellow wasn't he so he got into it a little bit too much yep sides brought it down the table and this is a much more difficult shot was a great cutback with enough pace to come in and out of the box. And look at that. That's why he was trying to get straight on that red. He would have been right behind the pink. But he's still at the table. Yeah, he's played in an area here. He's got one in the middle or one at the, the back of the, the bunch. Twenty. Now... He's looked at it in the middle pocket as well. Can he put this in the middle and just hold the cue ball for the pink? If he can, this is just as good as the other way. 21. Excellent. Well, I'm not sure if the pink spot is occupied. If it is, that's a big plus for Marco Fu. 
Yeah, it's definitely covered by red, isn't it? You can just see it peeking out. Thirty-seven. I'm counting. Twenty-seven. Oh, that jumped a little bit, but it didn't affect it. But the red definitely jumped there. Let's have another look at this. Mm. Well, I said earlier this evening, this was a game that was ready to be grasped by one of the players who stepped 34. up to the plate. And it's definitely been Marco Fu this evening. His scoring has been far superior to Neil's. 35. And once again, this has been an excellently constructed break in the heat of battle. Oh, what a beautiful shot. An absolute cracker. 41. He's worth another look. He couldn't hit that any better. And while Hazel and Stephen were talking 42. in the studio, Mark Selby was practicing, and the defending champion is waiting on the winner of this match. And it looks like the man from Hong Kong is going to be playing the defending champion just a few pots away from what has to be well he's had some terrific victories but this will be up there with the best john yeah following his first round from 7-1 behind let's not forget that luca brussel had him 7-1 down in this year's world championship and here he is looking for all the world like he's going to be in the quarter final amazing turnaround He had a little glance at the scoreboard there, making sure that he plays the correct shot and gives himself a little bit of time. He's got a kick. He's got a kick. Can you believe it? Marco Fu, Can you believe it? You know, I was just thinking when he held his head in his hands when he missed the easy ball, but that was just unlucky with the contact. Have a look at that. Oh, that's outrageous. It's outrageous. It really is. How well has he played in this frame? And for that to happen. Yeah, of course. Well, look where the white's finished. He would have been on the pink into the middle pocket. Do you know, he thought, and he was going to screw that back at one stage, and then he thought, I'll just make sure I'll roll it in. And that happens. Incredible. Oh, one. Neil tried to develop the red and black. He's very close. I think he can still pot the black, John. Yep, it was the right shot to play. It was giving you a chance to win the frame. He just needed to clip it on the outside a bit thinner. Just needed a thin contact, not a thick one. But yes, this still pots, but it can be missed. frame of snooker this is Nine. the only awkward ball is the yellow and it's not safe where it's sitting what I will say Dennis is he's not had his shooting boots on tonight can he find it from somewhere this will be one of the best clearances he's ever made because he's been nowhere near his best can he find the clearance when he isn't? Huge 16. pressure. Sixteen. 
17. How's Marco for the failing sitting in his seat? He was 23. A couple of pots away from a place in the quarterfinal, and to see that happen was incredible. And he played the perfect frame, Dennis, suddenly His match play had been superb. He had his opponents in all sorts of trouble. He was making a break, going over the line, and then that happened. 24. Boy, this is a tough game. It's all about getting a good angle so that he can drop in behind the yellow and I mean the 29. yellow as I say it's far from safe. Thirty. He <coughs> can drop in behind the yellow to leave it into the corner or into the middle pocket. Anywhere near the two whites and he'd be okay. Yeah, I decided to Stay on the blue, didn't he? Could have possibly have gone up for the brown to get closer to the yellow, but decided to play it this way. Oh, he's too close to the yellow. He's too close to the yellow. He wanted to be 35. a bit nearer to the cushion, and there's more drama here. Just got a little bit too much done on that. The only way he couldn't have a pot at that yellow was if he got into the cue ball too much. Unfortunately for him, that's what he's done. So, Marco, you've had a reprieve. Mind you, there's a good argument, you deserve one. And Marco needs the yellow and green. Neil Robertson needs all the remaining colours to take us to a decider. Is he thinking of having a go with this? He is, you know, middle pocket. No, he isn't. Neil Robertson. Far Third better shot. thought he'd got the snooker but he didn't now if he can hit the yellow from behind and he catches this correctly he can get the snooker in behind the black and send the yellow up the table oh key shot coming up yeah you're not kidding this is huge no he didn't get enough side on it and if it hits the blue it's a chance Marco, as I say, it needs a yellow and green. Now, uh, there's an awful lot of pressure on this yellow. Well, the good news is it's a natural angle to the green. Although the way he's looking at it, maybe he's got to punch this in to get there. But whatever you do, Marco. Knock the yellow in. Oh, I mean, how hard has he hit that? Where's the yellow going? Where is the yellow going? Is the blue snookering him? But he hit that so hard, that was just pure pressure that caused him to hit the yellow. And look at this. He's covered it. Thank you. Quietly, please. If he swerves around the blue and pots the yellow, he's going to be on the green, John. Yep. I mean, he's got lucky leaving it where it is. But, as you say, Dennis, if he plays this little swerve, all he's got to do is make sure he makes any sort of contact on the right-hand side of the yellow, and he's got to be on the green. Oh, 
well <laughs> in saying that because he had to put so much swerve Two. on he couldn't get on the green well he's looking at the scoreboard but there is a chance you know to get in behind the black here he's 20 behind you've got to make sure you keep the green safe I mean he could risk going behind the black but it'd be quite easy to not get the green safe the alternate is to just try and get the snooker behind the brown and make sure he gets a good green he's gone for the black how's your judgment how is your judgment Neil Robertson two it's pretty good what a shot he's played there And just enough room to slip round the back of the green here. Just needs to miss the middle pocket. And foul. I'm gonna miss. Uh -huh. Robertson foul. Dear, it's all happening yeah. here. Walk back, please. In this frame. cushions he's playing but as I said there was enough room to get round the back of the the green to me let's, let's have a look where they were before that's where they were and let's have a look now yes absolutely spot on now he doesn't want to go around the back of it again and he doesn't where's the green going it's gone over the middle pocket Wow, what a frame of Thank you. this is. He's 15 behind. And what pressure there is out there at the Crucible tonight. Just come a little bit awkward. It's a bit thinner than it looks. Very easy to decelerate on this shot and not get the work on the cue ball. That's a useful nudge in the black because without the cannon, the white was going to be close to the cushion. The only thing is, it's going to make the black a little bit more difficult. Neil already looking at that. Seven. Black would be okay for a right hander. Yeah, got to make sure he doesn't leave himself straight on this pink. Needs an angle. Twelve. And he's got one. Has he? Oh, no, he's straight. The one thing you cannot do is leave this straight. And he has. Settle down, please. Thank you. Well, what a black he's going to have to leave himself now there he's queuing up at it Ooh. the only thing I can say Dennis is it's made your mind up what shot you're playing because there's nothing else other than the one he's just lined up for you know he could play the pink ordinarily and have to use the rest so this decision has been made it's all about this 18 well he is one of the best potters the game has ever seen boy does he need a pot now to keep himself in this year's World Championship. Oh! But look where he's left it. Oh, this is an awkward one. 18. He's going to need the extension on his cue, an extended rest. Thank so you. So close, wasn't it? And the pressure and the tensions, yeah. you fancy dropping this one in dead weight? Well, that, that's all he can do. I mean, give the pocket a chance and just, if it doesn't go in, he loses the frame. Okay. But you've got to think, let's roll it in. I was very unlucky with the kick. This will get me through to the quarterfinal. What a shot he's faced with. I'll tell you what, Dennis, I'll be having the black cleaned as well, never mind the Thank cue Thank you, ball. quietly, please, now. Thank you.
What a frame of snooker we've had here. Absolutely incredible. And he looks as cool as you like. But he got a terrible kick. And Neil Robertson almost come back and leveled. And we were almost into a decider. Nice to see the both players chatting like that. In the end, the very likable Marco Fou go through to the quarterfinals, winning 15 frames to 11.